Is methamphetamine worse for somebody's health than marijuana? I don't think any illegal drug is, is good. Is uh, heroin uh, worse uh, for someone's health than marijuana? Again, all I mean, drugs, either yes, no, or drugs. I don't know. I mean, if you don't know, uh, you can look this up. You should know this is the chief administrator for the Drug Enforcement Agency. That was Colorado Congressman Jared Polis fighting hard for what his constituents want marijuana. As it stands, 18 states have medical marijuana programs. Last November, Colorado and Washington made history as voters chose to legalize pot for recreational use. And now legislators in those two states have a different type of green on the brain, tax revenue. Currently, Colorado has plans to put a 15 percent tax on recreational pot. It's estimated the tax would result in $24 million worth of revenue for the state. Congressman Polis claims some estimates are closer to $100 million. Either way, Polis says the money could make a, quote, substantial dent in needed school improvements, particularly in poorer districts. Over in Washington, the estimates are even higher. At present, the state is planning a 25 percent tax. Their estimate for 2017 shows $565 million in new revenue. There is no denying the green is good, and especially now. 30 states are currently facing a budget shortfall for 20, 2013, including California, where they are facing a $15 billion budget gap, and in New York, where they are facing a $2 billion budget gap. Aside from the economic benefits, public support for marijuana legalization has been, pardon the pun, growing for the past 20 years. That said, one very important person, one very, very important person who used to be part of a pot-smoking choom gang in high school is not on board. We're not going to be legalizing weed yeah. or what yeah. uh, anytime soon. The Obama administration hasn't yet outlined how it might deal with legalization, and the Department of Justice could end the party in Colorado and Washington at any time. But given the choice between drug cartels or schools and infrastructure, the choice seems clear. Coming up, ours is a society of second and third chances, as former New, Jer New Jersey Governor Jim McGreevy can attest. But McGreevy's redemption story pales in comparison with the stories of the incarcerated women he now counsels. We will ask McGreevy about his fall to grace when he joins me next.